Data, get your data. Kind of feels like that lately, doesn't it? Look, data at its root, it's ones and zeros. At its endpoint, it's information. I challenge that data that's not actionable is just noise. Hi, I'm Terry Lucas. I'm the Vice President of Sales at Skybits. With me today is my colleague, Debbie Sackman, our Senior Product Manager. Look, we live in an incredible time. A time where digital technology is really changing how we work, how we live. And the advent of the vehicle information platform and sensor data is really allowing companies to outperform their competition, and even their internal KPIs for that matter. In addition, the intersection of how goods are being moved now is now synonymous with how data is being moved. And it's at this intersection that leading transportation companies are leapfrogging their competition. They're doing it by taking those ones and zeros and, I don't know, turning them into information-driven rocket fuel. At Skybits, we are passionate about providing actionable data to our customers. And today, we're going to share with you how thousands of those companies are using that data to make decisions that are impacting their bottom line. So now I'm going to toss it over to Debbie, and she's going to share how an operations manager is going to put this into practice to increase their profitability and their productivity. Thanks, Terry. Let me show you how one of the four largest trucking companies in America lowered their driver misses by 14%. Now, no one likes to turn down revenue, and no one likes to send a driver to pick up a trailer that's not really empty. Yet every day as an operations manager, I have to handle exceptions. For example, a panicked client calls needing an unscheduled load picked up near Atlanta. Instead of turning down the load, I want to find an available driver to cover the load and take care of the customer. Since I have a tractor with a driver available near Atlanta, I'm going to go to my Skybits portal to find the appropriate trailer. So in this situation, I'm looking for a dry van, and I want it to be sitting idle, and I certainly want it to be empty, and I'd really prefer that it's within an acceptable deadhead range of Atlanta. Wow, that was easy. I see I have several trailers to choose from, so I'd really rather pick one that's been sitting idle the longest. So I'll sort my list over here based on dormancy. When I glance down my list, I see that a lot of my trailers are at customer sites, but actually this one that's been sitting here the longest is not. So let's take a look at what it's been doing. Oh, it's just been making moves around a yard, so that reminds me. I actually left this trailer here so I'd have this close proximity to the Atlanta area. So I'm going to check in my TMS to make sure it's not assigned a load or dedicated to a customer. Then I'll message my driver to pick up the trailer and make that assignment my TMS. Bam! That was a quick win. Now, if I didn't have Skybits, I would have looked at my trailer pools and made my best guess at grabbing a hopefully empty trailer, and I certainly couldn't have chosen one that had the longest idle time. But it's good to know you can quickly and confidently find a truly empty trailer with Skybits to minimize those driver misses. Right, Terry? Right, Debbie. I mean, a 14% decrease in driver misses, that's impressive. What else do you got? Next, I want to show you how a top 10 freight company improved their turn times by 10% and generated a revenue uplift of $7.3 million a month in detention billing. As a manager, my objective is to continuously look for opportunities to increase profitability and productivity of my assets. I know an effective way to do that using the Skybits trend analysis tool to look for locations where my trailers are idling excessively and focus on those locations to see how I can turn my trailers around faster. So I've already set my idle time key performance indicator to two days. So next, I'm going to look at trends. Am I meeting my KPI and what customers are holding my trailers too long? So first, I'll look here at my idle summary and see, oh, for the last 12 weeks, my average idle time's been around eight and a half days. Hmm, not quite as close to my KPI of two days as I would like. So next, I'll look over here at my idle trend by week, and I'll see that there haven't been any unusual weeks skewing my average, so I know I definitely have room for improvement. Next, I want to focus on my worst offenders to bring me quickly closer to my KPI. Now, I know this heat map looks like a Christmas tree, but stay with me, because this is where the magic happens. 
So the boxes up here are each customer defined geofences, and down below are these are just Google Map defined locations. The bigger the box, the more trailers have been to the location during the time period. Green is good, red is bad. So I want to focus on a customer location that um, Well, normally I would focus on a customer location that is one of the big red boxes. And I would see that 79% of 399 trailers that came to that location had been having an average idle time of more than two days. So when I click in to look at that location, I can see that my idle times have been increasing and they averaged out at around 11 days. That is definitely not good. So certainly a conversation I want to have with my customer. I also noticed that 10 of the trailers have been sitting for 20 or more days. Ugh, also not good. So I download the data, give it to my salesperson to work with the customer so they can um, work with the customer to turn those trailers around faster and get that idle trend reduced. We looked at one scenario, but the power of trends is the deep analytical engine that enables me to spot issues for resolution and monitor them for improvements. You can see as an operation manager, you now have the right tools to empower your teams to become a hero. Everyone loves a hero, don't they, Terry? Everyone does love a hero. Um, I'll tell you what, we know that leaders today need information to find out if their assets are revenue drivers or revenue drainers. Debbie just shared with us how real companies are taking this information and using it in a way that it is changing how they operate and their profitability. So come see us at our booth. We'd love to talk to you about it more.